hot topic being hot keys. Sometimes in the market, activity can be quite frantic. Prices bounce all over the place and occasionally you might have bets sat in the queues unmatched that you don't want to get matched straight away. So it makes sense to have a few hotkeys set up, allowing you to cancel bets quite fast that you don't want matching, potentially change to net stake if you've got an open position very quickly, or even just hedge out altogether. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Hotkeys have been available inside the Geek's Toy for a very long time now, and it's a great function to use. In fact, I've used it from almost the day dot. So in this clip, I'm gonna cover three main things. First of all, what are the hotkeys and how do they work? How you can actually change your own personal hotkeys and personalize them for your own particular setup. And then finally, how I use them and, and how you can use them too. So to start off with, what are hotkeys? Well, they're just keys that allow you to make an action very quickly under one key, it's like a shortcut. So you can see that the ladders aren't particularly center here. If I just tap one key, bang, there they are, all in the middle. And that can be a good way of visualizing um, which runners are moving on the ladder interface. So to change the hotkeys, we need to go up to the top of the market navigate here, right click on it, and go show hide. And there's short key, shortcut key manager, sorry, the third one down, tap that there. That's obviously opened up behind the ladder interface, so we'll minimize that for now and I'll take you through this quick interface. Now, um, on the ladder, it's showing you different odds, odds controls you've got there. You can see from the drop down, you can restore the defaults and you can change which keys are assigned to which function. And it talks you through many different functions here. To be quite honest with you, um, for what I do, pre-race in the markets, you're not gonna need to change many of them. I personally actually advise using um, like a gaming pad. That's something I've used for a very long time too. Um, but you can set your keys so that it's comfortable on one hand to take out multiple actions. So for example, down here, if we go to the hedge function, you can see that is currently on the keyboard H. Now we can highlight that and change that to whatever key we like, to G. You know, I'll change it back to H because that's where I like it. But you've got lots of different ones there. So you can change the default stake. You can decrease your stakes, obviously going down. You can increase your stakes. Um, what else can you do? You can change the liability staking, you can select your net stake, you can cancel bets, you can cancel all back bets, cancel all bets altogether, cancel all lay bets, center the ladders as I've just shown you on the screen there. You can literally do anything, but the, the key thing here is you can do it fast on one hand inside an erratic situation. So you can see there, it's really quite easy how you would change those keys, um, what they're actually for, and then you don't need to update anything else. Once you've changed it in here, that is actually saved. Although if you want to save it under your particular profile, I would um, recommend you go to save profile and then choose which profile you want to save that under. So what that allows us to do when the software is actually active, and I'll show you now. So if we place a couple of bets here, look, got two back bets. And if I go cancel all back bets, gone, a lot of them. Um, and that, that can be useful if the market's sort of spiking and moving very quickly against us. Obviously, I've said about the center all ladders, and then you can change uh, net stake and, and so forth at the top as well. You can see that just flash there when I, when I tap that. Um, there's no bets matched in the market. That's why it's not changing. So that's how I particularly use the hotkeys. I use them in conjunction with a gaming pad. Very useful thing to do. Um, and I'd advise anyone who's serious about getting into pre-race trading or got to make snap decisions quite quickly, actually use the hotkeys function inside the Geek's Toy software. So if you don't use the hotkeys software, you may want to use it now. Feel free to let us know if you thought this was a useful clip uh, in the comments below.